Hello, welcome back. In this video, we will create menu for pizza and menu for burgers using loop. We will use pizza stored in database to create the menu. In the file views.py, we will import pizza from models. I will store all pizza in a variable pizza. We don't need variables in the view index. I will create a dictionary context for the variable pizza. And I will add context to the function render. Like we see in the video URLs and templates, we can write Python inside HTML. I will use for loop to show all pizza stored in my database. I will use an element h2 to show the name and the price of medium size of all pizza. The variable pizza is a list of objects. You can see its value in the command line if you use the function print. I didn't get values of name and uh, price. I did something wrong. I wrote P in capital letters. Now it works. In pizza.html, I will add a title. I will give it a class title. In the file style.css, I will set the text align of the class title center. The style didn't change. I have to clear sessions of the browser or I have to use another browser. I will use the browser Microsoft Edge. I will add a margin to the class title. Now it's time to create product cards for pizzas. In the file pizza.html, I will create a div container fluid. Inside it, I will create a div row. These classes are bootstrap for classes. Class row allow us to show element in the same line. I will divide my container to two grids. The first for pizzas and the second for the shopping cart. I will create a class called MD8. In bootstrap, the container is composed of 12 columns. Size of the menu will be 8 columns and the size of shopping cart will be cut columns. I will use class row to show pizzas in the same column. I will use the for loop inside the class row. I want to show two pizzas in the same row so I will use the class call md6. I will erase the text and I will start creating the product card.
First, I will add image. I will give it a class picture. Images are too big. I will resize them in the file style.css. Let's try with 100%. Images don't have the same size. Let's try with 300 pixels. I will set border radius 50%. I will define the height so all images will have the same size. I will add margin between pizzas. Margin didn't give me the result that I want. I will use padding. Next, I will add pizza name. I want the name to be in the center of the div. I will add a class to the element h4 item title. In the CSS file, I will set the text align of the class title name center. It's not in the middle. Let's try position relative. I will set the left 100 pixels. I will add margin top and I will change the left. I will move the title, our pizza, to the grid of menu. Next, I will add input radio for the prices of medium and large pizzas. So, the consumer can choose between large or a medium pizza. I am using bootstrap input radio. There is a bug, we will fix it when we build the shopping cart. Next, I will create a button, add to cart. I will put it inside a div so it pass to the next line. I will use the class text center to move all elements in the middle. The name isn't in the middle. I have to remove the class item title. I will add the class PT, that means padding top, to pizza name. I will add the same class to the button. I will use margin for the button.
Next, I will create a menu for burgers. First, I will create a new file burgers.html. I will copy the code of uh, the file pizza.html and I will pass it to the file burgers.html. I will replace pizza by burger. In the view file, I will create view for burgers. First, from models, I will import burger. Next, I will copy and paste the function of the view pizza and I will replace pizza by burgers. Last thing to do is creating a URL for the view burgers. In the file base.html, I will define the link of burgers. Great, my burger view works. I want to add the class active to the link of the active page. I will do a trick. I will use the if condition. I will create a new variable active link. For the view index, I will give it the value index. I will do the same for the other views, pizza and burgers. Now I will add if statement for the classes of URL. There is errors. First, index, pizza, and burger are strings. Second error, I have to add space before and after equals equals. Good, the trick works. I think images are too large. I will change the width and the height. It looks better now. I will try to show three products in the same line. This is the end of this video. Next time we will create a shopping cart.